Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as Anakinra. Its brand name is Kinneret. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, during this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, um, followed by indications or reasons you would prescribe this medication to a patient, and then contraindications or reasons you would not be able to prescribe anakinra. We'll then touch on some examples of dosing and then finish it off with side effects with percentages. I put together some slides to go over this information. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So anakinra blocks the biologic activity of interleukin-1 or IL-1. This is achieved by competitively inhibiting IL-1 binding to the IL-1 type 1 receptor. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see this medication anakinra used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, as well, patients with chronic infantile neurological, cutaneous, and articular syndrome may use this medication. And finally, patients with sterile multifocal osteomyelitis with periostitis and pustulosis would also use anakinra. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe anakinra, well, we just wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to anakinra, if they had a hypersensitivity to proteins derived from E. coli, or if they had hypersensitivity to any other component of the product. Now for some examples of dosing with anakinra. So in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, we may see 100 milligrams per day given subcutaneously. We'd want to administer dose at approximately the same time each day. For patients using this medication for chronic infantile neurological cutaneous and articular syndrome, we may see an initial dose of 1 to 2 milligrams per kilogram given subcutaneously once daily, and then the patient would have the option, if needed, to increase in increments of 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilogram, uh, up to a maximum of 8 milligrams per kilogram per day. And they would have the option to split this into two doses if needed. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using anakinra, so I'll go over some of those here now. Some common side effects may be injection site reaction coming in at 16 to 70 percent. Some patients may develop a rash or 7 to 14 percent may develop diarrhea. 8 to 14 percent may experience nausea and 14 percent of patients may experience vomiting. Up to 39 percent of patients may experience an infectious disease while using anakinra or joint pain also known as arthralgia comes in at 11.5 percent. 12 to 14 percent of patients may experience a headache and 11% may ex experience nasopharyngitis. Some patients may also experience an upper respiratory infection. The more serious side effects would be cardiorespiratory arrest, bacterial cellulitis, or a malignant mel melanoma. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with Anna Kenra or Kinneret. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. For today, take care.